Hi, this is Sandy from Guild Portal. I have Aaron with me. Hi. And we are going to... I'm also from Guild Portal. He is from Guild Portal. I'm not famous or anything. <laughs> or nor anything. I'm a programmer. He is a programmer. He did I'm married. most of the program. He's married to me. Yeah. You're just trying to avoid the video, huh? No. Okay. Go ahead. We are going to do the video on styling the site. Was that a good name for it? No. What, what, what should we call it? Something else. Okay, this is how you... You use one section of the control panel to style your site. In case you don't like our themes, which you should. <laughs> okay, in case you're really good at graphic arts, which I am not. All right, I am logged into my guild site. I am an admin, so I have control. You have I have as super admin access. You have absolute power. Now, most of our editing... That was geeky. It's okay. We're geeks. Can be done over here on this line. If you go to the end, you can do some edit. You can do widgets. You can do drag and drop. But we are doing deep, hardcore editing here. We are changing the look of the site. So we're going to return to preview mode. We're going to click on the control panel. It opens up to general styles and tools. Settings and tools, actually. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We go now to style tools because we're styling the website. We're going to break this up because it's really Lengthy. Lengthy. We well, have lots of options, all kinds of customization you can do. But we're going to start with the first one. Okay. Which is general style settings. I can't, oh well. So I clicked on that. And it's going to, over here on the right, is where most of our stuff is done. Um, the first tab it opens up to is the background tab. So um, we can have a background color. But if you have a background image URL doesn't matter what your background color is, correct? It does. Uh, your background image could fade into a uh, transparency uh, or could fade into a color. Uh, the newer um, styles that you see, uh, some of the more professional sites have a great big, well, yeah, an image that looks pretty large and uh, it's got a blank space in it for the content and the rest of it fades into a color and the background color of the page matters a lot there. So they have... You can't really show it there. Yeah. This, yeah. Okay. I was trying. My mistake. Alrighty. So it might have, in this case, it doesn't matter what the color is in the background. Actually, in that case, it does. Okay. Because it fades to... The image fades to black, and the rest of the page needs to be black, too. There it is. Ah, it fades to black down here. Yep. Way down the bottom. Alrighty. Um... If you have your own background, either you got it from a fan site kit or you made your own, you would put that URL here. Mm -hmm. um, I get the question, what size is an average normal size? Yeah, um, probably around 1600 width by whatever height. You know, that, that, the one on the site that we're looking at right now is pretty huge. I don't know what the size of it is, but... Uh, you know, you, you, you might want to take into consideration your users, uh, your members of your guild site might not be on the fastest connection. Um, but, you know, our file servers are pretty fast. But you can't upload a file over what size? Because I get that a lot. Five megabytes. Yeah, really, it, if, you're, if your background's over five megabytes, that's too much anyway, just for downloading. But uh, run it through an optimizer in whatever graphics program you have available, even if it's a free one like Paint.net or GIMP um, or, you know, a paid one like Photoshop. Just run that through an optimizer before uploading it. Oh, I wish I could definitely... And then another one, totally off the subject, music. Music is usually bigger than that, so... But, okay. What are these uh, three buttons over here on the side? I got my color wheel. And the color wheels are so you can create a gradient that's a fade from one color at the top to another color at the bottom. And uh, you, can, you can have that be the background of your website. Uh, like, go ahead and hit update preview. That just shows you an unchecked glossy. Because glossy wouldn't do very well on a, yeah. So it'll fade. And then go ahead and try a height of 300. What's the height changing here? How, to, how, how long the grade is, the gradient fade, until it gets from one color to the next. But you've got two of the yes, same colors. Yes, let's change selected. that. Let's go yellow, just so you guys can see the... Yeah, and then you'd want to make your background color um, the, the same color as the one at the bottom. Mm, down over here? Yeah. Okay. Um, should we save this or no. not? All righty. So I'm not going to hit done because that would hit save. I'm just going to exit out. Yeah. Um, that one right there it pulls from your guild storage in the file manager. 
So if you've uploaded something in the file manager, an image anyway, uh, it'll be displayed here and you would just double click it and it would make it the background. Oops. And you did. So we're not going to be saving changes here. And then what is this? That would be the preview icon that really is only useful if you've got a gradient image in there. Okay. All right, next um, is display image titled, Tiled, centered, yeah. or at fixed position. Now this is mostly if you uploaded a picture right up, right? Yeah, uh, only if you, it only matters then. Um, tiled means it'll just repeat it uh, horizontally, vertically, or both, or not at all. Uh, it, go ahead and select it. You'll see that control right there, ah. and that became enabled. So, tile, horizontally, vertical, do not repeat. Right. Um, and go ahead and put it at fixed position. Try that one. And then you put number of pixels from the top of the page, number of pixels from the left side of the page, and, uh, and then we'll go ahead and put it back on centered. And that's where it was before. And what that does is it lets you just center the image. And if it's one of those that I was talking about before where you've got like a blank space for your content to go in and you know exactly how wide it needs to be uh, to fit inside of your background image, uh, then you you center it and uh, then you use the site layout tab that we'll see later or go ahead to there now to the site layout tab all right we're gonna and it would quick. be like the widget table width that would be where your content width goes um, and that would be exactly the space given we'll come back to this one too because as yeah. support I want to do that so I'm gonna go back to the background tab click on that um, prevent background from scrolling yeah, so um, when you scroll down your page because you've got content, like, you know, go ahead, scroll up, down, up, down. Uh, the background image that's on the side of the table, yeah, that thing, wouldn't scroll. And, uh, yeah, it's, some people use it, other people don't. All right, we're going to cut this video short right here, and then the next video will be on um, the rest of the section. Yeah, okay. All right, thanks.